Well, it is the fiery speech that has a lot of people talking. Former talk show host John Stewart blasting members of Congress demanding proper health care compensation for 9-11 first responders. I went to news reporter Jan Carabello is live in our news center with more on the emotional hearing and the key vote expected today. Good morning, Jan. Jim and Janelle, good morning. This was a different John Stewart at times breaking down in tears during his testimony. But Stewart has been an advocate for the 9-11 Victim Compensation Fund for a decade now, and he doesn't want to see that much needed money run out for first responders who Americans consider heroes. They responded in five seconds. They did their jobs with courage, grace, Tenacity, humility. 18 years later, do yours. In a hearing room packed with first responders, John Stewart berated the lawmakers before him. Your indifference cost these men and women their most valuable commodity time. And he slammed the lawmakers who failed to show up yesterday. Okay. Only slightly over half of the 14 member subcommittee was present. In front of me, a nearly empty Congress. It's an embarrassment to the country, and it is a stain on this institution. The September 11th Victim Compensation Fund has helped tens of thousands of people who inhaled deadly toxins at Ground Zero. Former NYPD detective Luis Alvarez will undergo his 69th round of chemotherapy starting today. This fund is not a ticket to paradise. It is there to provide for our families when we can. But the $7.4 billion Congress approved back in 2015 is nearly run out, forcing the fund's administrator to slash payouts. And the fate of a proposed bill to extend the fund is still uncertain. Gosh, I hadn't looked at that lately. I'll have to. They rushed to danger to protect us. And they deserve the health care as they suffer from untold in injuries. That key vote is happening later today. Now, CBS News did ask Senate leader Mitch McConnell if he supports replenishing the victim's fund. He says he does, and that is an encouraging sign from someone who has held up the funding in the past. Live in the News Center, Jan Carabao, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jim and Janelle, back into you. Okay, thank you, Jan.